All right, everybody flip your book over right there. Before we move on, I wanna see how much you remember. Do you think you actually remember what we just read about? All right, we're gonna see how much we remembered. We have some different sentences we're gonna say about each page. Sentence frames set up a sentence for students without giving them every element of the sentence. So with lower students, I would often omit a noun. Later on, I might omit, omit a noun and a verb, and eventually I would leave out things like prepositional phrases or adjectives. Oh, that's right. This page is talking about how plants are living, living things, things, and they grow, grow and they change. change. So I'm going to look at this sentence and I'm going to say, a plant is a living thing. living thing. Do you see how I just remembered what that page was about? Sentence frames can be used in so many different ways in building students' level of complexity in the sentences they use. So with a lot of my more beginning students, we'll use very simple sentences with a basic SVO pattern. Raise your hand if you and your partner came up with one that you want to share with everybody. All right, Oriel, you want to come up and point to your sentence and tell us what it is? Some plants are big, but other plants are small. Excellent. We did read about that on page five, didn't we? Let's read those together. People, People use plants for, for, food. for food. And I feel like a lot of times they're also an opportunity to let kids insert academic language into their speaking, into their writing because if you set up a sentence frame that already has the vocabulary that you want them to be using inside of it, then no matter what words they plug in, they're still using the, the word that you want them to master. I'm gonna have you guys see if you can tell me a sentence about germination and about the seedling. The sentences tell us about how first a seed germinates then a seedling grows. So when a seed germinates, the blank, read with me, splits open and a blank pushes out. Now if you get stuck, you can always go back to the book. Good readers go back and find information when they need to find information. Once kids get to the end of first grade and the beginning of second grade, I try to push them more towards like compound sentences, so combining two sentences, and then eventually, it, by the end of second grade, a lot of students I see are making complex sentences with different kinds of clauses in them, which is really great to see, and I don't know if they would necessarily do that if they didn't have the support of a sentence frame. All right, let's do the next one. Animals use plants for cozy homes. Cozy homes. I like how you remember the word cozy. They're nice and warm, right?